Oh, I thought I thought that was the water. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. It's so over the top and stupid. What is going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to Stormworks. Today we're gonna save lives and probably kill a few as well as we check out some new creations in this awesome vehicle creation game. Now before we get into that though, check out this! We got asteroids in the game now. Recently there was an update that has released screens into the game and as per usual the developers or the creators in this game have done really really well with this. So we actually have a real working asteroids game. Oh my god. Press shoot to play. Okay, so yes, this is actually asteroids in another game. This feels actually just like asteroids. This is, oh god. Uh, it's been a long time since I last played asteroids and we're dead already on wave one. Go me. So yeah, this is a little bit of a blast from the past. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to actually look at the screen now. Oh my god, I am... Okay, I'm, I'm glad games are not as hard as they used to be because this is... Uh, well, to be fair, Asteroids is really not that difficult, at least at the start. Uh, but yeah, whole goal is to, if you've never seen Asteroids, to explode the Asteroids and not let them explode yourself. Let's see, can we get the first wave done? Hell yes, we can. There we go, and wave two. Now, I have one life left. How long am I going to last? Probably not too long. Oh, no, I am spinning all over the place. And there we go. 90,600. That is an absolutely awful score. But hey, I'm not a professional Asteroids player. It's been about 20 years since I last played it. Well, this is exciting. Uh, somebody has designed a movie theater. Check out the movies that are playing. We got blue, red, and uh, orange. So I'm really excited to see how this works. Is this where I get my ticket? Um, it's locked. Okay. Uh, clearly, I need to know the pin to get back there. So we can actually like hire someone and give them the pin, and then they can be the popcorn guy. This is actually kind of adorable. How do I get in? I just, I just want to see the damn movie. Yeah, technically I could be an employee and go back here. I'm actually kind of curious what's behind here. Is this where we actually play the movie? Oh my god, this is amazing. Can I- Hey! Let me in! There we go. Okay, so what the hell am I doing now? I obviously have to somehow load up, I'm assuming like a YouTube video or something? Uh, okay. Whoa! Oh, please tell me a movie actually plays. Do I have to- I feel like I have to load something up. Oh, that is really cool! The effect- of the lights is just spinning lights on that pole. I thought there'd be an actual movie, though? Clearly not. At least we got bathrooms. Uh, I love the effect, though. It looks like the old-school movie theaters. Uh, but yeah, I thought we'd actually be able to load up a video. Clearly, it's not that advanced. Then again, still haven't figured out what this button does. Maybe that's the one. I'm getting a seizure in this damn room. Well, I hope I didn't pay good money for this movie, because it's definitely not very entertaining, but still a really cool effect. And I, I, I love this. We need more, like, little buildings like this. Uh, like, a, we, we, need, we, we need a whole city of them. That's what we need. We have the theater. Now we just need everything else. All right, check this out. My own little self-propelled flying drone helicopter thing. This looks really, really fun. I, I love these little simple designs in this game. Just a one-seater here, nothing too crazy. And whoa. Okay, maybe it's way more crazy than I expected. Okay, pitch, roll, up, down. Oh, this sounds amazing. It actually is not hard to control. Very simple buttons. That's rare in this game. I think you guys know that by now. And look at that. This just works. Now, how fast can we actually go with this thing before bad things happen? So if you suck like me at this game, this is definitely something you probably want. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do too much with it because it's just one seat, but hey. How cool is this? And check out this. These are some of the new screen updates. Looks like we have a camera on this thing. We have a map that we can, I'm assuming, go in and out on. Yeah, we can zoom out as you can see. Oh, this is beautiful. What a cool feature. This game is so complex already. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. We have lights. Can turn those bad boys on. IR cam. This is all new features as well. Whoa! What did I do? What did I do? What? I didn't mean to. Okay, press the button. Press the button before bad things happen. Oh, God. Oh my god, okay. Uh, are, we, are we good? What the hell do- What is that even- What- What is hold pus? Ah, uh, hold position. Haha, <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright, gotta say though, man. It's very difficult to fly in this game. Look at this! I'm going through little rocks and whatnot. Let's see if we can actually slow this thing down. Oh, strafing in sideways. Alright, 
I don't know how to, how to hit the brakes. I guess we can do the whole position thing. Whee! Dude. That just works so good. Look at that. It's good. Dude, this is like easy mode in this game. And then we can just drop it down. And we have landed it. Nothing ever goes this well in this game. What the hell? Now, how do I get out of it? Oh, God. Okay. It automatically even opens so you can't get stuck inside. That's happened many times for me. So I got to say, hey, this is feeling great. This thing is awesome. <laughs> oh, this is great. So this is the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Uh, it's also a freaking submarine. So, yes, I'm going to uh, submarine in style today because we're going in this bad boy. And, oh, my God, how do I get in? Okay. Uh, I have never driven this as, as per usual in this game, so I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, it's fun. Oh god, there's brakes on my side? Water mode, okay. Seal. Sounds simple enough to me. I have not very good uh, views in this thing, Jesus. But it looks like we can indeed go forward. Okay, well, it's already aut automatically on. That's nice. Looks like it's rather easy to control. We don't have... Uh, the controls explain to us though, so I guess we just got to rely on these buttons. All right now It is a little dark out, so I'm just gonna change the daytime What a great game when you can change the day whenever you want. I really love these little camera things I mean, it's not a very good uh, quality camera, but you can actually use that if you really wanted to I wonder if it's like got like night vision when it's more deep in the water We're gonna have to find out that but before that we actually got to get in the water So I'm assuming we turn water mode on. Let's seal it up. I think I mean, that's the whole point, right? We are a sub. Put on the uh, water mode. Oh, God. Okay, so I guess we got to get to the water first. Because uh, that's what that does. Got it. Okay, that's... I don't I don't know what that's going to do for me, but I'm excited about it. Now, is there anything else I need to worry about? I think that's it. So, uh, yeah, let's submarine in fashion, man. The Rolls-Royce Phantom Submarine. All right, hopefully this is successful. First dip into the water. Is will this be my last? I think I think we should be okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Look at that. Uh, wow. What's up, swordfish? I didn't really think we would float, if I'm honest, but clearly that works. Okay, so we're in the water. This is uh really trippy that I'm in a car. We're going to put the water mode on. Now I was really hoping we'd have better vision than this because we I don't think we have any lights at all. So it works. But can we go down? That's the question. Because, I mean, obviously it's a submarine. It's supposed to go down to the bottom. I'm trying to get it to do that. It's not very easy, as you can see. Yeah, just a random buoy over here. No, is that a box? What the hell's in the box? Hey, I'm kind of curious. Ah, oh, that'd be great for a hatch here, obviously. Let me actually see what, what else we got in here. So we got a back seat, just the doors. Oh, this, this, is, this is a dangerous button if I've ever pressed one before. Here we go. That one didn't work. Let's try the other one then. Oh, oh my god, what is going on? Why am I spinning? Why am I spinning so much? I'm dead. It actually killed me. The the impact, I think, killed me. Well, I didn't expect that when I opened the door. I thought I thought we'd flood. I didn't expect to turn in a crazy ass top. So what happened before? Did, maybe it was the other button? Let's let's try, let's try the other one. There we go. Yep! It just it actually kills me. The rotation of the thing. I'm bouncing around like a crazy bouncy ball in there. And it kills me pretty much immediately. So, uh, yeah. If you're ever at a Rolls Royce submarine, I mean, that's, that's a common thing, right? Don't open the door because you're going to kill yourself. Did not expect that. Oh, God. Oh, don't break before I even get there. What the? What is that? Oh, that's the new radar things. Okay, so this was actually updated uh, Friday. It's Monday now, so this is a very recent update. Not sure what it does besides be extremely loud and annoying. That's the saddest track I've ever seen, by the way. But hey, it's a... I don't even know what to call this. It's a submarine tank helicopter. That That's it. Okay, got the ladder. Now we get inside. Once again, never driven this thing. But hey, how hard could it be? It's only a tank submarine helicopter. Okay, I, I, I hear it. Let's turn that off. Okay, that, that, that wasn't it. Damn it. Silence alarm. What the hell? Oh, hey, look at this. We got cameras for the front and back. Somebody can actually watch that. Not that I have anybody working with me today. Uh, can I even get back here? I mean, everything looks good to me, but I'm just trying to figure out how to shut this thing up. Okay, I got it to shut up. I uh, reloaded it in, in advanced mode. I think it's an advanced aircraft or... Tank, whatever you want to call this thing. I don't know what it's called. 
Uh, and yeah, it doesn't freak out anymore, so that's good, and we can probably silence the alarm when it does. Anyways, let's, uh, get this thing all set up so we can actually engine monitor here. I guess I gotta turn the main breaker on, I'm assuming. There we go, now we can engine monitor. And there's a bunch of different monitors here. I love these monitor systems, so that's the back of the, uh, garage. If we were outside, you'd actually see something out of that. But look at this! We can actually control most of the stuff here. I'm hoping we don't need two people to use this. It doesn't look like we do, because this guy's just monitoring. So let's go back up to the helm, see if we can maybe turn this sucker on somehow. Oh! Jesus, how did I miss that? There we go! God, I was looking around for way too long for that, so I think we had... You know what, let's up the throttle like crazy, why not? Alright! Well, it's on! That's the important part, and now let's figure out how to use this thing. This is gonna be fun. I mean, I got basically three different vehicles I have to control. Ah! Land mode! They oh, Jesus Christ! Holy Jesus! Okay, th that's what you gotta be careful with when you're maxing out your throttle, and then you finally find the button that you're looking for. Look at that, though. I'm actually a tank, and it's actually kind of working. So I guess, being that we are a helicopter tank submarine, we can just kind of go in the water. Jeez, this is the episode of weird submarines, by the way. Like, <laughs> hell. I don't know if we'll be able to take off from the water, but I just want to see if it can work as a submarine as well. So here we go. Only way to find out is to get our feet wet. Hopefully not actually wet, because that would be horrifying. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's actually kind of working. Now, how do we actually throttle up the sub part of this? I'm assuming this is up here, too. So we're going to turn land mode off, air mode. Oh, look at that. It's pretty actually easy. So we got C mode on. Jesus! Oh, man. It's got some pep in its step, as you can clearly see. Now, can we actually aim it downwards? We can aim it downwards. This is scary. Oh! It feels very weird to control. Very top-heavy, obviously. Can I be a dolphin? Yes, I can. Isn't it majestic? Uh, I think I shut off the engine, didn't I? I'm not, I'm not hearing it. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I do not want to go to Australia. Let's not flip this. Come on. Yeah, we still got it. We're good. Okay, we should probably slow this thing down a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna hit... I don't know if we took... We definitely took some damage there. It looks like we're okay. Oh, uh, we are going way too fast. This is too dangerous. I got... I gotta go slow it down. This, this is way... T this is not a good time to go f slow it down, but, uh, better than ever, I guess. Oh, I can't... E I don't even know which way's up anymore. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. I just wanted to slow down. Oh, come here. Throttle. There we go. Slow her down a bit. Slow her down. I'm amazed we're not dead yet. Honestly, I thought we would die. So at least we got that going for us. Are we actually... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. Easy now. Let's turn that a little bit. Jeez. <laughs> this is definitely... It says it's doable with one person, and that that's true if you do have your throttle at the correct position. But it would be nice to have some sort of throttle control up here. All right, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna drain the blast so we can actually, uh, you know, be a helicopter. And I'm assuming let's move it on off of C mode and hopefully that stabilizes us. Uh, not really. Let's turn it on to helicopter mode. Here's the helicopter throttle. Now, I don't think my engines are on though, so this could get in. Oh, never mind. We're good. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, throttle is really on. Oh my God. Oh, come on. Come on, we, we, we can do this. Oh, I got it. Hold on. Hold on. It's very unstable. And let's throw it. Is it. Did I see a seagull on the back of my freaking submarine? I swear to God, there's a seagull there. Wait, what is that? Okay, that's, that's not a seagull. I thought I saw a seagull, but clearly not. I am just, I don't know how I'm not destroying this thing. But this is fun. All right, so this is not enough throttle. Let's up it a little bit. There we go. There we go. Just get your butt out of the water. Here, I'll help you. I'm trying. No, you really do need 100% to at least get it out of the water, it feels like. And then once you're out, drop it down. Nope. Too low. All right, what the hell's going on here? What's beeping? We got static everywhere. My indicators are on. Yeah, we got some serious damage down here, and I think that's the problem right now. This thing just doesn't have the power it did anymore. How we doing over here? Yeah, air 0%, feels 2%. We've ran out of fuel. That, that explains it. All right, a little more tame this time. I just wanted to see if we could maybe take it off from the actual ground here. It'd probably be a lot easier than trying to take off from water. So we're outside now. Turn off land mode, turn on air mode, and up that throttle like crazy. Nope! Nope! Still really frontwards heavy, as you can see. I have totally destroyed this thing. Jesus. Okay, yeah. 
this is a little too crazy for me, I think. All right, let's try this again, and this time, you know, I actually understand how this thing works. Don't get me wrong, it's fun to uh, play with these things when you don't know what you're doing. I actually prefer it, but every now and then, it's fun to actually know what you're doing as well. So we are going to try this once again, but this time we're not going to take off from the water. It's probably a lot easier to take off on the ground, so we're just going to turn on what we need. That's good. We have the throttle at 25%. That should be good. And I don't think we need anything else. So, yeah, we're just going to drive out of the hangar here and see if we can, you know, have a nice takeoff with the helicopter aspect of this. I mean, we don't have to go fast. Last time we were basically full throttle and we basically almost killed ourselves. So, there we go. We're outside. Once again, we're going to throw this thing. All right, let's throw it off of... Oh, actually. Oh, it is off land mode. And then we're going to throw it on air mode here. And... Once again, we're just going to take our time this time. I do not want to go crazy and try and actually take this thing off without killing ourselves. Still not taking off. Slow and steady. Let's not go to the max of 100. Oh, oh I'm trying. I'm pulling it back. It's just so front heavy. Or because of the uh, helicopter blades are in the front, it screws it up. I think I actually damaged the blade, which is why we're wobbling like crazy now. So, yeah. This is a very hard thing to use as a helicopter. I just went crazy that time, and hey, 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 hey. Uh, I'm assuming something with that radar, we can probably turn that on and stabilize it a little bit. It's working. It's just not working very well right now, as you can probably tell. And the fact that it's smoking probably tells me the engine's not perfectly set up either. But yeah, I mean, how cool is this? It's three vehicles in one, man. Okay, and uh, keeping on with the weird subs, this is called the Warfish 2.0, and it's said to be a glitch sub. That is, it's using game glitches to basically go extremely fast. How fast? 1,200 meters a second, according to the developer, which is freaking fast. And, oh, it was already... <laughs> uh, maybe you should close these, because I'll forget to uh, close them when we actually turn into a submarine. And then we would die. So, yes, we're inside... Again, um, haven't really explored this thing. I actually like the layout of this. It feels very, uh, I don't know, futuristic or something. We even got diving equipment if we do uh, get stuck down at the bottom of the ocean. All right. Got a map. Good. Uh, it just says one starts the boat, and that's the only information I've been given on how to control this bad boy. So let's start it. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was loud. Um, whoa. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm not ready for this. This is really fast. This is really freaking fast. I mean, look at how fa Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm bouncing off the ground. Um, I don't even know how I'm controlling this, if I'm honest. I, I have... Okay, wait. Up, up. There we go. I'm trying to lift it, but it's pushing itself so far downwards. I can't lift it. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to do a loop. We're going to the depths of the hell now, guys. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, are we going to hit a ground? Whoa! I... That whole time, I thought I was going directly downwards. What has happened to this thing? I have somehow broke it. I mean, oh, 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 there we go. There we go. I think I got it. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I've turned it into a rocket ship. Okay, we are now going to space, guys. Yeah, I got to say, I like glitch ships. Okay, it's actually at a freeze zone now. I like that attention to detail. I don't know if you saw it at the bottom right. But if you go too high, you are in a freeze zone. And I can actually now figure out how to control this. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. This is crazy. I can't believe I haven't crashed this thing yet. Now, we are clearly really high up, so we're just going to come crashing down, hopefully not onto land, because uh, that's not what this thing's all about. You know what? I'm going to speed it up, just because this looks fun. I don't know what that blue bar is. Hopefully, it's nothing too dangerous. Oh, my God. Look how fast I'm going. Look at this. Oh, I, th I thought that was the water. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. It's so over the top and stupid. All right, guys. Well, I'm upside down going to space right now, and I think this is another good time to end off another episode of Stormworks. Today was pretty much all about crazy submarines that are not really submarines at all. Other ones are cars, but yeah, it was really fun checking out some of these really weird designs. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below in Stormworks, because I'm always listening to you guys. And uh, the biggest request was more submarines, so here you guys go. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.